Good morning, it's Friday, January 1st, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Wondering About the Big Stuff. Our scripture is Psalm chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them. Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. When you're little, the big questions always begin with why. Children want to know why they can't have that whole gallon of chocolate chip ice cream. They want to know why they must go to bed now. They want answers. The questions usually expand with age and curiosity. If that curiosity continues to grow and never finds its home in faith, the questions tend to lead down the path to cynicism and despair and more wrong answers. But if faith in the Creator leads anywhere at all, it always comes back to this basic question of why? Why me? Why am I alive? What purpose does this life serve? The cynics who have come up empty and devoid of faith will say there's no purpose. We are meaningless blobs of protoplasm that have managed to evolve and pollute the earth to the point where it will eventually fold us back into a tangled mess with all the other useless, meaningless beings of all time. One day this planet will explode or implode. Just choose your poison. Now, those who choose to believe this kind of nonsense will also find a way to make a complex answer to every other simple question like, 2 plus 2 equals 71, unless it's Tuesday, in which case I want the answer to be different. I'll let you know what the answer is if you'll just be quiet about God. <laughs> but those who have taken the leap of faith will eventually arrive at a more meaningful discovery to the question of why, and that answer is because God. Going back to the beginning of human existence, we find the answer to life's most basic question. Genesis chapter 1. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. We are created in God's image with a hunger for relationship. The response God hardwired in each of us because he knew it is not good to be alone. And since that is so, it's also true of the one in whose image we are created. This is the portal of understanding for every other question that begins with why. It takes faith and a little common sense to begin with the answer, God, and work back to where your questions live. But that's the substance of things not seen, the evidence of things hoped for. That's the magnificent path of discovery you'll find when you ask God why, like a psalmist. For you today, if you've ever felt uncomfortable with not having the answers, try resting in the purpose for which God created you in the first place, relationship with Him. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.